In our previous video, we discussed the chat feature inside of Microsoft Teams and how that's a great way in order to start learning how to use Microsoft Teams. But let's not step away from chat just yet because there are other features within inside of chat that are worth talking about. And in this video, I want to focus on files. See, not only does chat allow you to text back and forth with your colleagues, but it also lets you do things like transfer files. Now I know that sending a file isn't anything revolutionary, however the size of the files being sent is. See normally if you want to send someone a file, you would probably do it through email, and with email you're severely limited on how large the file size can be. Maybe you're lucky enough to be able to send or receive 50 megabytes. However, in Microsoft Teams, you're allowed to send up to 15 gigabytes per file, and it's easy enough to share a file in a chat. Now there's two ways to upload a file in a chat and it's purely your own personal preference on how you want to do it. In the first way, you will see in the text space where you write your message in a chat, below that there are several icons and one of those icons looks like a paperclip. Click on that and you'll be prompted to either choose your file from OneDrive, which is your online storage, or from your PC, which is your personal storage located on your PC. Now we'll discuss OneDrive in a future video, so for now we'll just choose files on my PC. So once you've selected your document, you will notice that it will appear in that text space where you go to write a message. This is a preview to make sure that you did indeed select the right file. And from here you can either choose to send the file by clicking on the paper airplane or selecting enter on your keyboard, or you can add a message to it in order to give instructions or just say hi. The second way to upload a file is by clicking on the files menu in your chat window. That will be in the top of the window. And from there you'll select the share button and find the document that you want to share. Now notice that in this method you can also see all the previous files that were also shared in this chat. But don't worry, if you shared a file using the other method, it will still show up in that file history. If you're new to Microsoft Teams and could use a little help getting started, we do have a free course on our website called Teams Essentials. We'll leave a link for it below in the description or you can simply go to protectedtrust.com.